Well, I'm going to try a little experiment here, and actually I'm going to continue. I've been trying experiments, but I don't really do everything all at once. And um, I was using this Beck style zapper for quite a bit, and I just said it. I'm going to start using this Beck style zapper along with the Para zapper quite a bit every day. Um, but there's a several points I want to get on with here. Um, one is I'm going to be start. I've been using the Dr. Willard water pretty much every day. Uh, it's this is the dark. It's got the trace elements in it, and it's a catalyst that helps the absorption of nutrients directly into the cells. Now I'm going to try something that actually helps the nutrients absorb into the cells more than one way. So one is taking the Dr. Willard water. So and I do take a lot of vitamin C. I, I take the tablets, just the cheap kind like this. I take the uh, powdered kind. I also take Live On Labs liposomal vitamin C, usually on the weekends. And um, I, you know, I, I've been doing that now for a little while, and I can tell you, it makes you feel pretty good. But I think that you could probably get a lot more intracellular activity where you're uploading it, the vitamin C into the cells directly, not just with buying that expensive Live On Labs liposomal vitamin C, but say using a powder and you're using Dr. Willard's water. That's a big thing. So here I got a Cooter's cup here. I'm a big fan of Dukes of Hazard. okay? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was watching what I think my favorite episode, the first five episodes, this is the season one, the first five episodes were in Georgia. They should have kept it in Georgia. Ben Jones is right, you know, the guy that played Cooter. Cooter was probably my favorite character in there because, you know, I like fixing old cars and shit, you know. Got my old Jeep over there, Suzuki and stuff. And uh, that was where they had the moonshine still, so... Now the other thing I'm going to be doing, the reason I started getting back on this, uh, the, the uh, <laughs> animal use, I'm an animal, I'm a cooter type, <laughs> this is from Bioelectric, now I've been using the Para Zapper every freaking day, um, just about every day, and you know, one thing I've noticed is that this puppy, and I'm not sure if it's the frequency, and I have not experimented with the Para Zapper enough with 4 hertz, uh, to see if it's just the 3.9 hertz or the frequency that actually gives you all this energy but I found out once I got up to a certain point um, when I was using two of these zappers 16 hours a day and I don't think you need to use two but right now I got it connected with uh, see down there here's my got it on my uh, here's, here's my military shorts here <laughs> and uh, I got it connected with tens pads on the inside of my ankles so I'm doing ankle to ankle at 4 hertz. Um, pretty damn easy to use this and walk around and even sleep with it and stuff. Um, but you know, Bob Beck made a lot of claims that are bullshit, but this thing actually does knock out, you know, quite a few microbes. I think some of the bigger ones you can see under the microscope. But another claim he said was don't take, don't do this when you're taking a lot of nutrients. And I tell you what, I was experimenting with this thing forever. I was taking lots of vitamins while I was using this several hours a day at least. I never had a problem. But I started thinking, I said, you know, suppose I was using this a good 12 hours a day, along with the Para Zapper, and I'm taking this 30,000 units of, my, of vitamin C that's not in the liposomal, plus I'm taking a DMSO water. In other words, this is supposed to cause, at 4 hertz, it allows the cells to super absorb more nutrients. So you're getting almost like an overdose of nutrients, but you, you can't get an overdose of vitamin C. You'd want the, the vitamin C to get into the cells. It's like you don't want to be drinking coffee or something and doing this a real lot because you might get an overdose of caffeine or something, right? So I'm taking, this is the DMSO water, D, uh, excuse me, the, the, uh, the Willard water, some DMSO with something else, uh, Willard water, and that's helping to get, you know, more uh, uptake of nutrients into the cells directly. So I figured I was going to take this and I was going to do this, right? Well, I said, why not just do this too for a good 12 hours a day at the 4 hertz? And you can see, I don't know if you can see this, there's a little light in there blinking, you see? What I like about this unit is like if you turn it down, you see that light goes off, you turn it up, that puts you right in the range. See that? So you know if it disconnects, plus it's got this little test button, tells you the batteries are good. Um, I don't like the 40 hertz. I like the 4 and a 10. Usually the 4. 
Um, but I figured, you know, I did have a load. I remember when I was used two of these units for 16 hours a day or 12 to 16 hours a day. I had one set up wrist to wrist on my wrist it with the tens pads and also ankle to ankle like on there. And, uh, man, I had little gobs of energy. I was going out to the, I was, I was like mowing all my lawn out here all day, trimming trees and shit. And, um. Uh, I'd be doing that for hours, raking up leaves, cutting branches, and I go to, and I'd work out for three hours from like one o'clock to four o'clock in the morning. Then I was able to do that same thing all again the next day. Gobs of energy, gobs of energy. So I got a feeling Beck. Well, I don't have a feeling. I know Beck was a CIA disinformation agent when he was talking about these zappers. But you got to take you got to take the good stuff and leave out the crap. Um, the good stuff is it does knock out a lot of vi microbes, especially the stuff you could see in a microscope, like, you know, cancer and viruses and Ebola. You know, don't go count on this bitch to freaking help you. But what it's mainly doing, you get this feel-good feeling, is because it's helping the oxygen uptake and the nutrients directly into the cells. That's what's really it's doing. So I'm figuring if you're taking really good stuff like, well, this is probably not the best form of vitamin C, but it's... It's vitamin C. Vitamin C you really can't OD on. Why not have more? Why not run this a lot plus the Willard water and um, get that vitamin C directly in the cells? Because you know what that does? That's the most anti-aging, freaking detoxifying stuff there is, vitamin C. Problem is, it's like when you take it regular, most of it you pee out. That's why you got to keep taking a couple grams every hour in just or an, a gram an hour or so. And... Um, just, you know, keep the, the levels up because you're peeing it out. But if you're taking this Willard water and you're doing this, I think a lot of it's going to be coming in, getting directly in those cells where it belongs. And it probably is, if it works, maybe it's going to work half as good as regular liposomal vitamin C, the real kind from Live On Labs. I don't know. It's an experiment. But, um, and I'm, gonna, I'm using the Power Zapper. I'm going to tell you, this thing does not knock out microbes anywhere near as the Power Zapper. Because I'm going to tell you, it's got, I'm not sure if it's the frequency or what the hell it is that gives you the energy. But you got to use it a hell of a lot for the energy. But initially, it'll knock out right microbes and you'll feel like crap because of the toxins from the microbes. But after you knock out the microbes, it's helping with the oxygen uptake and nutrient uptake directly into the cells. That's why they tell you not to take uh, coffee or medicines and aspirin and stuff while you're zapping. Now, I've had never never had a problem with taking vitamins when I was zapping, especially vitamin C. So I'm thinking about doing a shitload of zapping along with, uh, you know, the vitamin C. Now, I found out if you got an, an infection, say you got an infected tooth or something, this stupid thing don't work, man. This Bob Beck is full of crap about it. You know, it works sometimes. It doesn't always not work. But I think actually what why it works is because this 4 hertz... You know, I know people disagree because he, he uh, cited a patent. I think this four hertz is one of the main ones that was one of, is one of the main ones that like these uh, people that use these uh, contact type frequency machines that are sort of like pseudo rife machines. Four hertz is one of the popular ones. It does kill a lot of microbes. It's, it's a lo if you look up on a consolidated annotated frequency list under four hertz, there's a lot of stuff four hertz kills. So this thing does work for some quite a bit of stuff. It doesn't work for everything. But the main point I'm getting at is, what about the oxygen uptake and the vitamin uptake directly into the cells? Hmm. Add that with Willard water. Hmm. And actually, the first time I've been using it, again, was yesterday. Now, like I said, if I got it, like I remember with an infected tooth, this thing didn't work for shit. The, the power zapper, when you put in the power zapper, you take the positive side of the microbe. And you have your hand with a plastic bag, so it is, this is my hands, by the way, still got some of that chassis saver black on there from when I was working on my car. You know, I'm a cooter guy, right? But uh, <laughs> you take the plastic bag so the electricity doesn't go through your fingers, and you hold that positive offset side of the power zapper on where the, the infective tooth is, just over the jaw, over the, on the outside of the cheek, and knocks it out inside of a day. That power zapper knocks out every damn microbe. It's great if you got, well, I don't know, maybe if you wear it all day, you probably knock out whatever the hell you got to knock out. I don't know. This thing doesn't knock out anywhere near as many microbes, but it seems to have, it does knock out some. But it seems, and I'm not sure if it's the frequency, because we got, I got a power zapper with the 3.9 hertz, 
and the uh, 3.915 hertz which is half the Schumann arc for frequency and I got one it's got the 4 hertz and I got the one that's got 15.3 hertz which is double the Schumann earth frequency I don't know but I haven't experimented one enough so what I'm going to do is I, and I'm not sure if, if there's something different about this damn thing that why because it's 30 volts versus 10 on a power zapper I don't know what I don't know why it's I don't know why this thing gives you energy when you use it extensively after you get used to it but you know Beck did warn us about you see Beck is full of shit Beck is halfway full of shit he's uh I'm gonna flack I'll tell you he's a CIA front guy he's throwing you some gems but he's throwing you wingers okay and I'm pulling out the gems the gems are this thing does work for some stuff uh, and it does give you energy the power zapper works for pretty much any damn any damn thing but I'm not sure about the energy part if you can run the power zapper at 4 Hertz and 3.9 1 Hertz and give you the energy like this bad boy I'm not sure I haven't experimented with it enough I did some and it didn't it seemed to but this thing was like ridiculous <laughs> so I'm going to use both. <laughs> and I'm going to still take my vitamin C. And I'm adding on a, a pile of Willard water. And I got I got lips, some more vitamin C. I got powdered vitamin C. I got a whole freaking... I use a lot of powdered vitamin C. And I um, also got my Rebel Beanie cap for when I get up to Tennessee and it's cold up there. Um, so, anyway. We'll see. I'm going to be up here. I don't know if I'm going to be two or three bases. It might be two. It might be North Georgia. And uh, Tennessee, North, North, Northeast Tennessee, or it might be North Georgia, Northeast Tennessee, and North Central Florida. I'm not sure. But Florida better not get more freaking uh, communist. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Because I'll, if it does, I'm going to move out, and we're going to put a Trump wall around half the state. <laughs> I'm in a part that's not screwed up yet, but I mean, it's, you never know. Anyway, I'm glad I got this cup, though. I got several of these cups. It's unrelated to health, but I, I, I really do. I was watching a show yesterday, and I was like, I was watching that one high octane, man. They should have kept that show. Ben Jones was right. They should have kept that show in Georgia. Especially did some more moonshine themes out there in the woods. You know? <laughs> that show was cool, man. It's a nice, uh, I got this from Ben uh, Cooter's place. I'm going to order stuff from him left and right. So, got the rebel flag on here. So, Got a lot of cooter stuff, but I figured to give you kind of a pseudo health update. It's a little more of an experiment. I'm always experimenting, but I'm thinking is if this doesn't really do that much, where it's giving me more vitamin C intracellular, if it gives me more energy to do more, so I can do more shit. Well, that's good. Because <laughs> I remember that when I was like, I worked out. I I was using this thing for like 12, 16 hours a day. And uh, for two of them, right? Pain in the ass to wear them and shit. But um, I was out there working at working outside, doing three hours of intense cardio. I mean, day in and day out. <laughs> I was like, holy smokes, man. And I'm thinking, you know, I think that's how Beck is fooling people with this thing. Actually, you do, if after your initial get over to knock out some of the microbes, you get this energy boost. Which can help, which can help. But I'm thinking maybe this is not so much for health I'm looking at. And maybe it's going to be for energy so I get more shit done. It could be for health because if it's true that this opens up the cells to temporarily allow nutrients, I'm going to allow this in here because I take 30,000 of this every day. But I'm, continue, I'm going to continue to use, I can, I can use this and a power zapper at the same time. I mean, I keep those damn things around me. It's like, you know, it's a matter of discipline. It's like, you think it's a pain in the ass, but you know what? You got your cell phone with you all the time in your wallet, right? You know what I mean? And you set the, I mean, I, I wear these things. ain't no big deal, so. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm pulling out the gems that Beck told the truth on, and I'm discarding the bullshit. And, um, but if, you know, you're probably... And I'm not sure if you can, if a power zapper at 10 hertz and 4, I mean, excuse me, at 4 volts, I mean, 4 hertz and 10 volts is going to do the same as this. I ain't sure. It seemed to, but 
but I did not experiment with it enough to find out. And to tell you the truth, when I when I say something that gave me tremendous amounts of energy, um, I was suspecting it was giving me tremendous amounts of energy. And I upped the ante and I started doing two zappers, one ankle to ankle, two, one wrist to wrist. And in fact, it did give me tre tremendous amounts of energy. Was I tried to trash myself out for a few days, um, working outside doing all the you know stuff out here in the lawn and shit and all the trees and trimming and all this kind of shit plus working out three hours a day intense cardio with a, with a cardio meter right and I still wasn't crapped out so could you imagine if the CA, CSA had shit like that back then man they'd be overrunning the Yankees left and right right <laughs> that's the way I look at it too <laughs> Anyway, over now.